If you found this video, it's because you wanna learn how to cut pavers. Well, you're in luck because we just finished this 800 square foot project here at my house where we cut a lot of pavers. We cut man-made pavers and we cut some natural stone pavers. Natural stone pavers were an inch and an eighth thick and the man-made pavers were two and three quarter inches thick. So let me show you what tools we used and what tools you can use to cut pavers. So this is the DeWalt 24,000 wet saw. I've had this for probably eight years. This thing has cut a lot of stone. It's an awesome wet saw. It's got a sliding table. The coolest thing about it is that it's, it makes nice, straight, accurate cuts and it's safe. It's a wet saw, so it, it takes the water out of the pan here and shoots it onto your uh, cutting area and it keeps the dust down. So I'm gonna join an example of how we cut with this. It cuts real nice and easy. Here's a piece of a stone that I have. And as you can tell, this stone, this is natural stone, what we use, all the white stuff. And the nice, the way you can tell is when you cut it, it maintains its color. It's a similar consistency throughout versus a man-made stone. So a lot of pavers look like that when you cut them. So what do you do when you have an edge like that? Well, you gotta hide it with something. You know, a lot of them have just a thin layer on the outside that, that holds the color and the texture. And the inside almost looks like concrete. Another type of paver a lot of people use are these guys. And you can see the inside, the same thing. The outside is where the color is. Problem with man-made pavers is over time, they fade. So even these black ones I've noticed, I've had some in for four years and they've faded a little bit. Nice thing about natural stone is it'll never fade. It will fade, but it'll, it'll change colors over hundreds or thousands of years. This is the wet saw. I'm gonna show you how we make a cut. So say I had a line on here. I want to make a cut like right there, line it up, figure out what side I want the waist to be on, where I want the blade to be. And this is cool because here's a little pump, takes the water out of the reservoir. But the most important thing with this saw is you want to make sure your water, there's a mark right here. You want to make sure it's at least that mark. If it's not at that mark, the pump will be pumping water out. You'll know because there'll be dust all over the place. So we'll make a cut right now. We'll get lined up. We turn it on. It's going to get loud. So here, let me back up. Really important, wear eye protection and hearing protection when you use this. So here we go. <laughs> step one, make sure machine is plugged in. All right, step two, turn it on. Okay, also make sure the other plug is turned on. Now that everything's plugged in, I think it'll work. See the water coming out? So look at that cut it made. Nice straight line, it's safe, it's smooth. You can look at it, nice even cut. So that's how we would cut a paver like that. Now with the black pavers, you gotta look, make sure they fit in. You can see they do, this is a 10 inch blade. Let me see exactly how much it'll give at that height. Oh, about three and a half. Like I said, if you need to, you can bring it up a little bit, cut from one side and cut from the other. So. The way I usually have this set up is I have it set up so that the blade is just below the top of the table. So we're gonna do another cut here. Uh, the other thing you wanna make sure is keep your fingers away from this blade. So just for the safety of this demonstration, I'm gonna cut one of these that we've already ripped, but I'm just gonna show you how it cuts. like butter. Look at that. Cuts right through the stone. Amazing. All right, so another option you have is to use a grinder, hand grinder. And where we use this grinder was on some of these, um, come right here and take a look. So see this cut right here? It's kind of, there's like an inside corner we gotta get to. So we used the table saw to make this cut, made this cut here, 
but then there's some areas where we just can't get in there with the table saw so we use the grinder and we can grind it we can even come in from the edge and do it so let me show you how the grinder works now the same thing with the grinder you want to use eyes and ear protection and also you want to make sure that your guard is on the grinder I'm not going to use it because I have it off but that's just a very important thing that you want to use uh, when you're using a grinder And if we want to notch it, let me do a little notch. There's a notch, and I can clean it up even more by running it in there. So the drawback to the grinder is it's a smaller blade. You can't really get through a full stone. But the other drawback is, is the dust. So just make sure you're standing upwind of it, that you're wearing uh, respiratory protection and eyes and ear protection, and keeping your fingers away from the blade. The most popular method that most hardscapers use to cut pavers is the demo saw. A lot of the guys have gas powered demo saws and they'll just they'll just cut the stones right in place. So this one's electric. This is the DeWalt DCS 690. I got this from Amazon. I love it. You don't have to worry about putting gas in it. You don't have to worry about the carburetor getting all gummed up and replacing it it starts every time as long as the battery is in it so this is what it sounds like just like that so what is also neat about it it has this water connection so you can keep the dust down with this as with the other saw you can turn it on you got a valve here you can control the, the amount of water being released and what's going to happen though with water you're going to keep the dust down but you're also going to get wet it's going to shoot this thing spins this way it's going to shoot water back at you so a little drawback but it's at least a safety thing so let me show you how this cuts gonna turn a little water on here we go there you go cuts real nice cuts real nice i stopped it before i got to the end but you can carve with this thing it's very versatile look you can even You can even change the, the angle of the guard so if you want to cut straight down like this or if you want to or if you're cutting in this it depends what angle you want the saw to at, saw to be at you can set the guard to, to help you out so anyway those are the three different ways that we cut the pavers like i said our go-to is this saw it's expensive but it's worth it for your safety uh, you can rent these things or you can get cheap saws but a lot of times with the cheap saws you won't get the accurate cuts that you will on this DeWalt that has a sliding table. So let me just show you a few more cuts on how we did them. Over here, same thing. The inside ones were the hardest to make that kind of cut. And actually, let me show you how we'd make that kind of cut. We're just going to pretend we're, we're going from there to there. All right, so this is a 16 inch by 16 inch block. I'm going to cut it right down in the middle. My blade is an eighth of an inch thick, so that means I'm going to lose about a 16th of an inch of stone. What I'm gonna do first is just mark my stone just to make sure I'm tracking it in the right spot. So I'm gonna mark the eight inch mark right down the middle. And I'm gonna run the center of my blade right on that eight inch mark.
two stones. Seven and fifteen sixteenths. Put the cut edge to the outside. Here we go. Hey guys, I hope you learned something and how to cut pavers safely. It's not that hard. You can do it yourself with the right tools. Just take your time, be careful, and wear the right safety gear. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more how-to videos and how to make life easier by solving problems. See you next time.